Okay, we're still working on Chapter 8, Review. On this one, um, we are working on this video exactly, we're working on finding missing measurements. Okay, so it can look like this. I could have this angle right here. And then someone split it like this, where this side is 31 degrees and this side is a mystery. It wants you to find this missing piece. How would we do that? Well, how much is the total angle? How many degrees is it? This right here, this box, should be a telltale sign for how many degrees it is. How many degrees is it, guys? The whole angle is 90 degrees. We know part of it is 31 degrees. And then the, we have a question mark, and we don't know how much that is, but that question mark is the other part. If we put both of these parts together with addition, it would equal this whole. So how would we find this missing part? If we put both these parts together with addition to get the whole, how would we figure out what one of the missing parts was? Well, what's the opposite of addition? You're right, subtraction. So I would take 90 degrees and I would subtract 31 degrees from it. Well, I can't do zero minus one, so I ungroup, that becomes a 10, because I borrowed a 10 from the tens place. 10 minus one is nine, eight minus three is five. So I know the missing degree is 59 degrees. Okay, let's look at another one. What if I gave you a problem like this? And this part is the missing part. How would I solve this one? I'm going to give you a hint. This line helps you figure it out. Okay, well the whole angle is 180. I know that because this is a straight line. And straight lines are straight angles, which equals 180 degrees. I know part of it is 72 degrees. Another part is 31 degrees. And then my last part is missing. All of these combined equal the whole number. So how would I find the missing part? You're right, I do the same thing like I did last time, but this time I'm just subtracting two more things. Or if I wanted to, I could combine 31 and 72 to before and then subtract that from 180. Either way would work. So if I was to do it this way, ungroup, this eight becomes a seven. I bring the 10 over here. 10 minus two is eight, minus one is seven. Seven, oh wait, nope, this is not going to work. Never mind, never mind, never mind. The best way is to combine it before, my bad guys. I wasn't even thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna combine these. I get three, 
7 minus 3, or 7, not 7 minus 3, 7 plus 3 is 103. So I'm going to take 180, and I'm going to subtract 103 to find the missing part. Okay? So, ungroup, this becomes a 7, so this can become a 10. 10 minus 3 is 7, 7 minus 0 is 7, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, I found the missing degrees is 77 degrees. Okay, here's another one. Now, this one's going to use just words. So it says, two angles form a straight angle. One angle is 132 degrees. What is the other angle? Well, let's draw what we know. We know that a straight angle looks like this. And there's two angles that are going to form it. So that means within this angle, whoops, within this angle, I'm going to have a split. And I'm going to put it like this. One angle is 132 degrees. The other angle is a mystery. How would I solve it now that I drew it out? Knowing that this whole angle equals 180 degrees, we know part of it is 132. We want to figure out the other part. Okay, well I do what I've done before. I take 180 and I subtract the part that I know. So. 8 becomes 7, 0 becomes 10, 10 minus 2 is 8, 7 minus 3 is 4. So I know that the missing angle is 48 degrees. Okay, so this is just a quick review of how we find missing angles. You guys rock. If you have questions, let me know on Google Hangouts.